Hey guys, uh, another update on the old uh, solar playhouse. So, kind of good and bad. Got the wood and um, kind of set up the uh, MPPT charge controller. Um, some wires there with the solar battery and the uh, the load connects coming from the back. I've uh, placed a nice little you know 12 volt accessory socket there and that's separately load controlled um, got a switch for the, um, the solar and the load and um, the yeah load in general and that's separate to the load that you've got here for the um, that just that accessory socket um, you'll notice a extra amount of holes here and that's because that's where I was attaching the fuse box now I tried to plan this nicely but then kind of ran into some issues um, and I'm a bit annoyed by it. Um, excuse just turning that round. Aside from the um, rat's nest, which is about the best way I can describe it, um, the biggest problem I've ran into is the connectors. Now I try to do this all nice and modular so if I come in here um, and I've just used these small connectors um, but the problem I've had is trying to crimp them um, and actually getting them to stay in so I think I need a better crimping tool for one um, but also a certain gauge of cable now I had originally used a, um, a set of jump leads for some of the cables and spliced that up um, and it was around, I'd say, 4mm squared. Um, and that's the legs of this cable. Um, and that's, if I put a light on that there. Now, excuse the length of wire there, because I ran into so many problems. And that's why this is not on the wall and actually being used. Um, so I think the cable is actually too thick in a way for that. Um, but yeah, the fuse box, what I discovered was with the gauge of cables I was using, it's they didn't want to bend, maybe I had the holes too close um, to the side of the fuse box, so I chose to mount it on the back. Um, not the greatest for accessing the fuses, because you have to take four screws off and then remove it, so it's not ideal. Um, one thing that did work well was these um, common blocks, as you'd say. They were really cheap from screw fix. So I'm going to have a negative one and a, a positive one. That worked great. Um, what didn't work well, small connector block I got here. Um, some of the cable feeds in okay. Um, I've got two different types of cable. Um, the cable you see here goes in pretty well. Um, now this is 4mm squared cable, but it is um, not it's only a few strands um, what I'll do is um, just to show here um, if it'll focus yeah it's about probably say maybe eight strands max of um, yeah I think you'd see that the eight strands max of uh, thick gauge cable um, not as uh, malleable doesn't bend as well um, but it's not too bad, it does end up being a bit thinner. But using 4mm square solar cable just didn't want to go into these connector blocks and then I had to remove some of the, um, the actual conductor so then it's not 4mm squared which is pretty pointless in all uh, honesty. Um, so yeah, so that didn't work too well and then the connectors have ended up so femur I'm pulling them out. Now, I could get around that by soldering as well as crimping. But to be honest, I'm just not happy. So, you know, if anyone's got any input of what they've used, um, I think maybe it's the idea of having these removable connectors on the legs of these fuse boxes, maybe that's a bit too small with the gauge of cable I'm using. Gauge of cable I'm using is what I'm thinking. Um, and the same as this connector block, you know. It's nice, the cheaper off eBay, but... I'm thinking that's maybe not the way to go. Um, be great to use the spade connectors because it's great. You know you can just pull them off, remove them. But 